Oh, okay guys, so I'm going to show you what we did in class. Um, first thing we need to do is select an analog input from this side here. And then we will also need an analog amplifier and an analog threshold trigger. After that we will put an output and we will then connect each of these. Alright, um, the reason for the amplifier is because the values that we are getting is from a thermometer and um, the amplifier has a setting to detect if it's if the if the uh, values it is receiving is that of a thermometer the threshold trigger i have no idea what it is but that doesn't know how to set it so let's go along um so first we need to i think in the analog input let's see oh we just need to put a comment say um thermometer Now we go on to the properties of the amplifier. Um, from here we click on the sensor type. We drop down and we click and we select PT100 or PT1000. Um, the show the unit is in Celsius and the resolution is X1. Um, a PT100 or PT1000 is the thermometer type. Um, that is using AC units. That's um, I think it means platinum some platinum resistance thermometer. Um, as a small little um, copper thing that has been evaporator was be um, touching evaporator coil. Right, I have one wire coming out. I'm going back to the um, the circuit board. Alright, so let's see. So you click OK. Then we right click on the threshold trigger and click on block properties. Um, the threshold is where we set the on and off um, temperature for the um, thermometer. Um, so we click here and we go on no sensor and we go into the threshold we put the on as um you see it could be any any values you could put 23 to come on at 23 degrees celsius and come off at 21 degrees celsius um now the all these analog um devices don't necessarily need to be for only temperature because if you look at the um, drop down for the sensor you can, you can sense the voltage in um, volts, milliamps and that's whatever um, but then since we're doing the AC course we sticking with the temperature sensors for the time being um, and let's start to click OK now and um, so it told us to make a message box kind of thing so you can see the temperature while we um while it is changing um so let's go to i think where's the message box message text you also need a flag uh, I think it needs something else. I can't remember what it was. Um, let's see. All right, we'll go back to the actual thing. It was a status high. So we're looking for a high status high, right? You collect connect these three, independent of the. Oops. All right. All right. So we're connecting those three, independent of the um circuit above here and in the text we go we can see we select in the 
analog amplifier from the side, right to the side here and we then select the ex comma amplified um, value we click that on the click any spot in the green checkered looking thing down here and then we click insert parameter so this will be the actual value of the temperature that we uh, get and it will be displayed on the um, PLC display monitor um, let me put we put the type in an equal sign and then in this other box right here we select an, um, this insert special characters that's which are the degree Celsius is and we select degree Celsius Right, so you'll see how it looks when I run the program. So now we click OK. Um, line up all the stuff, make it look a little neat. Right, so if we run the simulation, right, you see the corner here, we've seen minus 50 degrees Celsius. So if we click on the thermometer, here, the input, you'll see there's a slider. So as you slide, you see the uh, values actually changing, and the, uh, you can still see that the output is still off, um, and, and you see the message text, you see the temperature is actually going up here. So let's see if we go up some more. All right, let me go back down a bit. Um, you can also click here. Let's see. While it's going up, 19, 20, 21, 22, and when it reaches on 23, it's still off. And when it reaches above 23, you see the um, you get the output here. So that, in essence, will be the thermostat sending a signal to the compressor to come on. Um, and the reason why it came on at 24 is because in the properties we set it to come on not at 23. I'm not sure why it didn't come on at 23. Whatever. Right, um, and that's basically what we did in class. Right, and that's it.